That's a static. So is this. Kmart. Open. That's right, we're in Westwood, New Jersey. That's a mouth, that's a tongue twister. But we're in Westwood, New Jersey, and we're at Kmart. This one is still open. It hasn't had any plans to close yet, but that's that's just a matter of time anymore. With this one still remaining open, there are two other locations in the continental United States that are still open, not closing. That does not include the Avenel, New Jersey location. So why does Eddie Lampert and the company even decide to keep these open? Why does he waste time doing this? What pennies are you bleeding out of literally less than a handful of stores left? But anyway, this may be the very last time we ever walk inside of an open Kmart that's not liquidating. So let's go and enjoy it. Good old Kmart. Boy, is that front end dirty. How dirty the front end is. Give that a good old paint paint job. Look at that, the door's open right up for us. Wowza. Wow. This store is nice. Wow, look how nice this one is. <laughs> it's like a step back in time, that's for sure. Wow. This is what a Kmart feels like, except for the back end of the store being all roped off. The lack of appliances. They have a couple of refrigerators left. A deep freezer, a washer, a dryer. They do have swimming poles. Look at that. Oh man, the little carts, man, rugs, wow, we're in a Kmart though, boy, this feels like Westview, this is all blocked off too on my left, we'll take a look back there in just a moment, that's all blocked off back there too. Wow, they really shrunk down the store. That's so sad. Is their garden shop open? No? But somebody's back there looking in there taking pictures too, so we're not alone. <laughs> Chest freezer. There's nothing back here. Look at that on the door though. I guess this was electronics on my left, I'm guessing. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, look. Look in here. Wow. There's what that closed off section looks like. 
just so sad. Oh man, poor Kmart. Here's where the garden shop used to be. <laughs> garden shop closed how sad oh wow it opened up <laughs> yeah they just use it for shelving now man look back here is this extra shelves oh so depressing So much of the store is closed off. Breaks my heart. I like the real tree jackets on my left. Bless you. Holy cow, they got Hot Wheels here. <laughs> wow. What a trip down memory lane. Boy, they got a good amount of clothing, though. Good, I need a new pajama shirt. Just something plain, nice and soft. I'll get a couple of them. If I find any. I want to make a purchase. Might be the very last time. Spring into deals. Way away. Holy cow. <laughs> that works way too well. <laughs> That's the old layaway. I always love the colors of these ones in New Jersey. These colors are great. The orange, the brown, the tan. I wish they would have done this to all of their stores, but they claimed it cost too much money. They did this when they were making money. When they were making money in the mid-2000s after the first bankruptcy. They just never did anything with it. Their last profitable year was 2012. They had a lot of time to update these. No, no, please. Stop. What do you think, Warren? Circus? Look at it. Man. I have a few die-hard shirts here. These aren't my size, though. Medium, XXL. Yeah, that one's my size. It's kind of ugly, though. Not really a fan of that color. But that's cool. They got a few. I have a gray one, too, but that's too large as well. I like that one, though. Always love those colors. This was a design that Kmart tried in the 2000s, and I liked it. Too bad they're just about all gone. Thank you for shopping your Westwood Kmart. Damn. Right in the fields. Good old Kmart. Guess that's a wrap.
All right, well, we ended up buying a few things we actually needed for home. We needed water, so we got that. Toilet paper. Can never have enough toilet paper, especially since in the world that we live in now, people like to hoard it. I don't really know why, but we needed it because we were running low. And I tried to think of anything else we could use while, while we're out and, you know, make one last purchase at Kmart. I ended up getting that green shirt, that diehard one. I mean, I'm going to sleep in it, so I don't really care what color it is. Kayla said she liked it. But I do like this Kmart. I love the colors inside. I just wish. All you need to do is get somebody out here and clean that facade off. Just clean it off. Power wash it even. And I bet you that would shine it up real nice. It would make it a lot brighter. Or just a fresh coat of white paint. But sadly, as is with the whole company itself, they don't care. Not the employees here. I'm not saying they don't care. They may. But I mean upper management, Eddie and the gang. So... What a shame. I'm glad we got to do this New Jersey trip and go to two Kmarts. Bridgehampton's just too far away for us to do on this trip. If it's still open some other day when we could possibly make it there, then great. If not, then at least we have other people that were out there doing videos at that one. So That was really cool. That was a big step back in time. I really enjoyed going to that Kmart, and I hope you enjoyed the little tour in there. I know it probably wasn't as long as the one in Avenel, but... With the Avenel one, I wanted to get as much of that place because it was closing. And this one, I just, I did the main racetrack, tried to, you know, get some footage, you know, here and there. It doesn't help that there was another gentleman in there filming out in the open, like with his phone. He was just going around like this, and an employee saw him doing it, and I think they got a little upset about it, you know. I, because he didn't seem to have, um... I don't know if he didn't think about it or not, but he was filming all the people in there too. So uh, whether he wasn't meaning to or not, but I didn't want to make them upset or uncomfortable. So I tried to keep it discreet and try to keep keep people's faces out of it as much as I can. I mean, you can't can't do it all the time, but and like I said, the purpose of this is is to walk back down memory lane. I, I wish we could have done this kind of thing with Hills and with Ames. Sorry, I had to put the visor down, so it's so bright, but yeah, you know, I wish we could have done this with Hills and with Ames back in the day. Even that Bradley's I filmed on this trip, you know, think of what it looked like 20, 25, 30 years ago in these stores, even 40 years ago, 50 years ago for Kmart, you know? What we see now is just a shell of its former self. It says Kmart on the building, but as Kayla has pointed out, a lot of the items in there don't even represent Kmart. They come from Amazon and other stores that they get. So, but they're trying. The people that work here are just trying to make an honest buck and uh, good for them. And when this one does decide to close, I wish them all the best of luck in their future endeavors as I do with those at Avenel. Well, at least we got to go back in time one last time anyway and save the memory of this place on video. And at least I got it under normal circumstances versus it liquidating when it's a stressful and sad time. So anyway, we're taking off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. And until next time, take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart. Let's just stay. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.